bienvenue dans cette nouvelle vidéo, c'est Lauriane de la chaîne Marathon des Langues et aujourd'hui j'ai une vidéo spéciale pour vous, elle sera en anglais et ce n'est pas moi qui vais la faire mais ce sont mes partenaires de ma retraite méditative yoga que je suis en train de faire en Inde ici à Goa et je fais ça avec des... une vingtaine de personnes de différentes nationalités de partout dans le monde on a des états unis d'Israël euh, de Can du Canada, on a Hollande, Allemagne, euh, Italie, Espagne, euh, voilà j'en oublie certaines mais euh, aujourd'hui je voulais leur donner la parole en fait pour qu'elles vous expliquent euh, quelle, quelle a été la plus belle expérience dans leur vie et ce grâce à l'anglais, grâce au fait de pouvoir parler anglais euh, parce que la plupart d'entre elles soit parlent seulement anglais, soit parlent d'autres langues et euh, ben, quand on ne parle pas anglais malheureusement il y a plein de choses qu'on ne peut pas faire ou on peut le faire mais de manière euh, moins intensive, on peut moins connecter avec les gens etc. Et ce que je veux vous montrer c'est la liberté en fait que l'anglais euh, ou même une autre langue peut vous donner euh, vous, vous pouvez faire tellement de choses, vous pouvez changer de travail, vous pouvez demander une augmentation, euh, plus d'argent veut, veut dire plus de voyages, vous pouvez faire vivre plus d'expériences et ça c'est vraiment ma vision euh, de la vie, le fait de, de vivre des expériences et pas forcément cumuler du matériel, une grosse voiture, une grosse maison et toutes ces choses qui sont éphémères mais plutôt de vivre des choses qui sont là, qui resteront dans votre cœur toute votre, toute votre vie et, euh, et je trouve tellement inspirant d'écouter ces personnes que je voulais partager ça avec vous et elles ont bien voulu partager euh, tous ces moments avec vous en plus en anglais je vous mettrai euh, les sous-titres en anglais en anglais et ben vous avez juste en dessous euh, pour que vous puissiez euh, améliorer votre anglais et en plus euh, profiter de cette magnifique expérience euh, et peut-être voyager un peu avec ces personnes donc si bien sûr vous avez besoin d'améliorer de parler anglais euh, rapidement couramment vous pouvez rejoindre le programme d'accompagnement le marathon anglais donc c'est une formation sur six mois qui vous permettra de débloquer votre oral et pouvoir échanger avec des personnes des, du quatre coins euh, des quatre coins du quatre coins des quatre coins de la planète pour pouvoir vivre ces expériences et peut-être aussi profiter euh, des expériences que ces personnes vont vous partager donc on se retrouve de l'autre côté Hey, what's your name? Hello, my name is Flavia. Hey, where are you from? I'm from Switzerland. Switzerland, all right. Mm -hmm. And uh, which languages do you speak then? Um, I speak Swiss German, which mm -hmm. is similar to German. But which... slow, slowly, all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I speak Swiss German, mm -hmm. it's like my mother language. Mm -hmm. Then I speak German, English, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit French, All right. a little Italian, and Spanish. I also like wow. Spanish. Wow, so you are fluent in all these languages? More or less. Yeah, you can communicate and understand. Yes. Wow, sure. so have you been traveling quite much? I yes, guess? Yeah. a lot. <laughs> and um, can you tell us, I guess you have many amazing experiences, but can you tell us, like, pick one and, like, the mm -hmm. best one? And why is it your best experience? Hmm. Where you speak like English or any other languages? Yes, I'm thinking of it. I think just traveling South America in general uh -huh. is very nice if you feel comfortable speaking Spanish mm -hmm. or just any language you need to communicate because just sitting in a taxi, I had so many nice conversations with taxi drivers. Just talking about anything and everything and not just sitting there being quiet mm. like participating into daily life in yeah. wherever country you are that is really it's a simple experience but i think that's what i love most about yeah. traveling i i really love what you're saying because it's very simple and sometimes we just forget about these moments but yeah as a conversation with taxi driver is yes. like The typical <laughs> but so true and like anywhere in the world yes for sure all right so well thank you so much for sharing your no experience problem. thank you high five, high five. <laughs> <laughs> thank <See> you, you. <laughs>
We are Indian. Native. We are in uh, Goa. No, we're not Indian native. <laughs> it's a uh, Japan and okay, Poland. Yes. So we have a speaking so many languages. What do you speak? I speak um, English and Polish and and then um, in between it, the the jam languages is the Spanish, German, and you know hello in in every language. Yes. Yeah, I speak. And you eat Italian? Oh, I speak Japanese, English, a little bit Sanskrit. Sanskrit. I yes. say something in Sanskrit. Sanskrit is from yoga, uh, Veda, yes. Veda or Upanishina. Savasana. 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 Savasana is a dead pose. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What was your favorite experience in the India? so far in traveling? Ah, uh, the monkey, ma monkey magic. No, no the, the mon monkey, monkey. The what was that? Monkey Island. Monkey Island. Monkey Island. Ah. The monkey island is in Goa. Why monkey island was the best for you? Mm, because the moment we are getting the island with the boat, the boat yeah. was not the fancy, but that not the fancy boat was excited, more excited. Yes, yeah, we people, went like on a small blow up yes. dinky boat and yeah, it was the super people cool. are singing the different language song. That was yes. like very yes. special. And my favorite experience, mm. probably two. One is uh, where we are, Goa, and the monkey island and the whole um, yoga, yoga, yogi whole tra yoga yogi training, yoga training. Yes, and the second one was um, Croatia, and I went with my uh, fiance Francois. Mm. We went into the mm. um, on the catamaran survival trip for mm, three days fun. and slept on the, um, uh, no people islands. How do you call mm. no people islands when there is no people? No people island. Island. Isolated island. No people. Deserted island, yeah. Deserted lost, island, no lost, toilets. Lost, lost island. No shower, no nothing. So, yeah. Do you have anything else to say? Shanti Shanti? Shanti Shanti. Shanti Shanti. Hey, hey. So, my name is Lisa. I'm from Germany. And I speak German, English and Spanish. And, uh, well, of course, the most important language while traveling is English. And that's also for me. There's no such as a best experience for me when I think about it while traveling because every trip and every country and every journey is just amazing and different and I meet so many beautiful people to uh, yeah to share experience with to share adventures with and um, without communication this would not be possible well it would but it makes it just way easier to uh, yeah, to share all this and to talk about what we experienced during the day or during a trip or, or anything and um, yeah it's uh, it's just amazing it opens so many doors and it I met so beautiful friends all around the world we're still in contact with some of them I travel around with some of them we text every day or every week some of them I just meet once or twice a year but it's just, uh, yeah, I I love it. I love it to travel. I love it to communicate with those people and to to see and explore the world and uh, have fun and a really good life. Hello, good morning. Hi. What's your name? Uh, my full name is Dominic Santariga. Yeah, nice. Where are you from? I'm from New York in uh, USA. Wow, so you speak English perfectly. I, uh, English is my home language, yes. Great. So um, you've been traveling a bit around the world, I guess? I've been traveling for the past three years, like eight months a year. Great. So, wow, it's awesome, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so what was your best experience? My best experience, it, it's hard to narrow my best experience down, but I'll tell you my favorite overall experiences is, is my first trip I ever took, the first time I ever left America, uh, two and a half years ago. I, I backpacked from Cape Town to Egypt, so mm -hmm. from South Africa to Egypt and Africa. Uh, and there were many experiences in there that I love, but I can tell you maybe about my favorite two or three. Yeah, sure. Okay. Like um, short. In short? Yeah. Okay. If possible. Um, yeah. Uh, one of my favorite experiences was in Zambia and Zimbabwe. It's right on the border. Um, it's where Victoria Falls is. It's uh, one of the largest waterfalls in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, I went kayaking down the Zambezi River. 
uh, stayed in Zambia for Christmas and uh, that was one of my best experiences. Why? Uh, why? Um, because I made a lot of local friends who mm. live in Zambia. I spent Christmas with them oh. uh, and yeah, it was just really special. So it was about meeting people, right? It was about meeting people and just yeah. harnessing the nature of Africa. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Do you think it would have been different if you were not speaking English? If I were not speaking English, um, it might have been a little different because uh, English is the main language besides their home language that is spoken. Mm -hmm. Because in many tourist places all around the world, English is the first language they learn for it's the universal language. So if I didn't speak English, it might have been harder yeah. to navigate through Africa. Yeah, of course. All right. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank you. Clap my hand. <laughs> nice. <laughs>
I feel exactly the same. Like, I think like any experience without English would be like so less, much less intense. Yeah, you would really miss out mm. on amazing experiences. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Thank Give me too. a high five. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Hello, what's your name? Hello, um, my name is Michelle Williams. Michelle, okay, where are you from Michelle? Um, I'm from the UK, uh -huh. I am um, Welsh, um, but I live in London. I've been living in London for the last 12 years. Awesome, and uh, so which languages do you speak? I um, only speak English. Mm -hmm. um, I've tried to learn French on a number of occasions and it's something I haven't persevered with and I would love to learn another language um, so that's on my list of things to do. Awesome, <laughs> French is great. <laughs> <laughs> so can you remember, can you like pick one great experience you had tra around the world? Traveling? I'm sure you had like so many but like any, <laughs> like just try to find the best one for you. So um, one that I've had recently, um, I've done a fair amount of traveling in the last um, eight months I've taken some time off work the one I had recently was in New Zealand um, I was traveling through New Zealand in a hired camper van and um, the weather was atrocious and there was so much rain that it washed away a road and closed a bridge oh my god um, <laughs> and I was caught on one side of this bridge and in New Zealand it's there isn't that many roads and there was loads of people caught and trapped on one side of the river and other people trapped on the other side. It was a bit crazy. God, yeah. Um, so whilst I was waiting by the side of the road, um, I decided to go on Tinder. <laughs> As I was bored, waiting, uh, wondering what was going on and I matched with a guy that was a kilometre away. And I was like, oh, are you also trapped on the, <laughs> on the other side of the uh, river? And it actually turned out that he worked on a farm in, that was not very far away. So he was like, why don't you come over to the farm and we can have a beer and hang out? And I did, and we had a beer and we chatted and he did couch surfing he was part of the couch surfing community and mm -hmm. he said he had loads of people come and stay awesome. and i was welcome to come and stay with him beautiful people so for three days i stayed on the farm <laughs> and worked on the farm crazy um he took me to feed the calves at like 6 a.m in the morning um and then we went to go and do milking um, and then we did a few other odd jobs and he took me in his little, um, I don't know, like little quad bike all around the farm. It was really fun and then in the evening we just watched films and hung out. The next day he took me mountain biking on one of the trails. Um, it was crazy, I mean it was something I was not expecting to do at all and it was actually one of the highlights of my trip it was just so unexpected yeah it was great and we're still friends um he's coming to europe and maybe i'll catch up with him wow. so this is yeah. an amazing story i love it <laughs> all the unexpected i already yeah exactly amazing, and right? just being open to yeah whatever comes your way wow. um yeah it was really great so do you think it would have been different if you were not speaking well the same language like i mean english of course i mean yeah. he didn't speak any other languages i mean he was quite from a very yeah simple <laughs> background he didn't go to college i mean not to say that he wouldn't speak any other languages mm -hmm. but he only spe spoke english yeah. so if i so english yeah. connected you yes exactly awesome thank you so much for sharing give me a high five, high five. hello my name is nina and i'm from holland the languages that I'm speaking uh, are Dutch, for sure, <laughs> and English, yeah. and a little bit of German, 
because I learned it at school. Yeah. A little bit of French, but only uh, okay. the basic words, you know, Je m'appelle Nina, for example. It's very good. Do you speak actually only German? Or no, can you no, 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 no. Just only I learned it at yeah. school, but after a while you just forget, you yeah. know. And, and with English you're fine, I mean. With English I'm, I'm fine, yeah. but not, not from school, because I skipped all the classes. <laughs> Because I was afraid to talk English in front of the class, you know. Yeah. And um, so I skipped a lot of classes, but while traveling, I learned English and I improved myself with uh, with English. Yeah. Nice. Yes. And um, would you say your English is perfect? No, no. But no. it allows you like to do so many, to live so many experiences. And, I can like, talk to, to people and explain yeah. myself, yeah. express myself. But sometimes when I'm nervous in front of a class or uh -huh. uh, if I talk to people that are really good in English, I, I don't know, I, I see for myself that I don't, don't really speak English properly. Yeah, but or I miss some words, you know? Yeah, it's like lacking confidence, right? Yes. It's about trusting it's more, yourself. Yes, yeah. that's it. Because you can speak with people, you can speak with anyone, so... It just enables you like to travel anywhere. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Yes. Traveling. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Yes. What was speaking about traveling? What is your best experience? If you can pick one, because I know you have so many. Yes. If <laughs> I pick one, I think it's India because I really love the country. Wow. I love it, and uh, I love the Himalayas. So when I was in Rishikesh, that was my most uh, beautiful experience. And why? But also, it was a gathering going on there uh, with a lot of gurus and uh, for example Muji and Shanti Mai and Prem Baba it means like uh, spiritual yes. thing right yes. spiritual. and yeah. they were giving set songs over there so you can go there for free and yeah. a lot of people all over the world were going there just to see Muji and yeah. were yeah just to learn about uh, awareness and about meditation yeah so thousands of people all there with the same purpose it was amazing so you and also in the himalayas the yeah. energy there is yeah i don't know how to explain but the energy you you feel it you yeah. know the connection with the mountains but also the connection with yourself yeah is yeah i don't know and with everybody the people also, you meet right? yeah. yes it's like everybody you meet you have a conversation and you know that it was meant to be to have that conversation yeah. with that somebody who was there mm -hmm. sitting in front of you or and everybody is in such a high frequency so you meet only the people that that you are meant to be yeah uh, to need to meet i get you uh, yeah it's amazing in the flow right of life, in yeah the flow it's always life. about uh, connecting with people like I have the same feeling when I travel. My best yeah. memories are always linked to the people I meet. So yes. I see it's the and same the place for you. where you are and the energy yeah. of the place. It's like uh, so. That was one of my most uh, beautiful right. experience. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing, you know, about traveling is feeling free and that Freedom, everything right? is possible. Yes. You I'm don't have limits. You can go everywhere. Give me five for that. Yes. Wow. Good morning or good afternoon everybody, depending on where you're seeing it. Uh, my name is Gisela, I'm from Argentina. My mother tongue is Spanish, I speak English and Portuguese as well. And Laurie was asking me about my best traveling experience. And I'm guessing it was here in India, as you can see now. I don't know if you can see here, I'm in Palo Lim Goa. And yeah. India was definitely my best travel experience. Uh, not this first trip, which was amazing as well. The previous one, I was backpacking for six months here. And I can definitely say that I found myself all over again. I had lost a little bit of my essence. And being here, it's so emotional all the time. It's a country that challenges you. So I got to rediscover myself. Find what I like, what I don't, what I tolerate, what I don't. Um, found a lost love for dancing. I haven't danced in 10 years. After I came here, it was all I wanted to do. So I started taking lessons and I started changing my career as well. So I can say that India is definitely a life-changing experience. If you haven't been here, you have to come. It'll change your life, I promise you. This is for everybody. Keep certain languages. They open many, many doors. Je suis partout, vous 
avez aimé cette vidéo, que vous avez bien profité de toutes ces expériences à l'étranger, que vous avez pu euh, faire travailler votre anglais. Et n'hésitez pas à liker, à partager cette vidéo, à mettre tous vos commentaires en dessous. Et je vous dis à plus tard. N'hésitez pas à me dire si vous avez aimé ce format, si je dois en refaire, refaire d'autres vidéos sous ce format. Et euh, si vous dites que c'est ok, eh bien je vous en ferai davantage parce que je prévois de voyager toujours plus et donc vous ramener de belles images comme ça de mes voyages. Donc je vous, euh, je vous embrasse et je vous dis à bientôt. Ciao